been five weeks since we've been in our van and we're getting ready to go on a family weekend. Oh my goodness, doing all this packing. This is groceries that won't have to be in the fridge. There's a few extra things. I'm gonna go load the van, turn on the fridge to get it cold. And then here on my island, I have uh, all the items that need to go in the fridge. I'm not sure that's gonna work. Thank goodness we're going to my brother and sister-in-law's place and we can load up their fridge when we get there. It's a four hour drive. We're gonna be fine with the groceries we have and we don't have an extra cooler. It just took up space. So here we go to the unloading, or no, to loading up. I hope we don't annoy the neighbors too much with our squeaky wheel. And they need to it. The heavier the load, the louder the wheels. <laughs> Hi, I'm Wade. And I'm Lorraine. And we are on, on the, the off-ramp. Off -ramp. Today, uh, what are we, we're in June now, so we're back from our long vacation uh, through the U.S. Well, we've Canada. been home for five weeks. Yeah, we've been home for five weeks now. And it's actually our first time heading out since we've been home. Oh, it feels so good to be back in the van. Yeah. We, <laughs> through all the traveling through the U.S., we, uh, we were fine and we got home and we both ended up with COVID. Oh yeah, well, that's true. And we picked up COVID here in our own community with our own family, and so there it is. So that kind of get it made us kind of stuck at home for a couple of weeks. Yeah, it slowed us down a little bit, but uh, we've been getting caught up with a lot of other stuff. I've been busy with work, and there's just things to do. But you know what? Now we were excited about getting back in the van. So our weekend is a family weekend. We're going to do some mooch docking, so that's going to be awesome on Dauphin Lake and plans for Clear Lake as well. Yep, Riding Mountain National Park in Manitoba. A beautiful place to stay and we'll spend uh, three nights there as well. So join us on this trip as we explore some of the beautiful areas of Manitoba. brother's uh, log home here at Dauphin Lake and normally at these concrete that you see there those are steps going down to the beach level and then there would be another 20 feet of uh, stones 20 feet of rocks and things that you'd walk on to get to the beach level and so this is their beach now it is much higher than um, it has ever been and so that meant that a lot of the perennials had to be moved and the shoreline has come up tomorrow as well from the shoreline so why not and this is their this is their place their log cabin there's a real big story around how that log cabin got here wow and we celebrate as a family here every june or july and love it love the time together as we get together for this weekend we always prepare the meals one sister one brother whatever we all end up doing one meal at a time and so today, Wendy and John are in charge of supper. And I'm thinking we're getting steak and potatoes. You are getting steak and potatoes. Let me try potatoes. that again. Steak and potatoes. There we go. Actually, these are the potatoes. Potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> these are the special dick family Okay, John. Potatoes. And John says he has a secret spice on his steaks, but he won't tell us what the secret spice is. Oh, that's uh, a secret I, I think that's baloney. I think he should at least tell his sister-in-laws and brother-in-laws what the secret spice is. Uh -huh. But we'll tell him after supper whether we like his secret spice and maybe he can just keep it as a secret. And, maybe. And here's a layered salad that they brought. And she made a really garlic fancy, bread. really fancy potato salad from Costco. Garlic bread. And garlic bread, where? I don't see the it's garlic bread. The stove. Okay, and corns. It's gonna be a great supper. The problem with this weekend is what, Wendy? We get hungry. We, we have a lot of food. It's really fun being able to make a meal for each other and each of us take a turn. And wow, there's a 
a lot of food by the end of the weekend, would you say? Yep. yep. That's why we have to wear stretchy pants. The steaks are on. Oh boy. With that special spice. This is where the men hang out, hey? I, I'd have to hurt you if I had told you what I was doing. <laughs> oh, secret stuff going on here. Is that garlic bread on top? Uh, mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms, yum. What is it? Come on. I'm going to check it out. Ah, telling the world again. He hid it in here. What did he put on his barbecue? He thinks it's a secret. Oh, mesquite, of course. Wood chips. Yeah. The rule here is if you bring this supper, you have to clean up the supper. Oh, boy. So, Wendy yeah. has the job of cleaning up her own supper. But My then own that mess. Your own mess. So, she's made a great steak. And for the rest of the weekend, yeah. I'm not doing any work. Well, that's the plan. Yeah. So, then you so make the meal. You. You make the meal, you clean up the meal, and she always picks Friday night. Yes, I do, because then I'm done. Then she's done nothing. Okay. But you know what's weird and is that Elaine always helps. She does. No matter what. No matter her meal is We've been waiting for so long. We've been waiting for this time to begin. We ain't getting any older. I kind of feel a little younger. the sky feeling bolder going up, going up. John's ready to net it. Oh yeah, it's coming. <laughs> John's gonna fall in. What did you get? A catfish. And here they have to. We're gonna do the catch and release of the catfish. We'll call this the redneck live well. It's a laundry hamper with what are those swimming tubes tied in there and it floats and apparently the pickerel don't jump so looks like we'll have supper back at our favorite national park campground in Manitoba. Oh wait, yeah, it's the only one. Ah. Riding Mountain National Park, Clear Lake, well, Sagaming is the town. And uh, we find the mama bear in her habitat, <laughs> sitting on a chair, drinking water. Earlier she was eating dandelions. Well, that was a different mama bear. Yeah, that's <laughs> true, it was. <laughs> but this is our campsite. And uh, 
Here you have to buy a $9.25 permit, daily permit, to have a fire. So we bought our permit today, and then there's unlimited firewood. So <clears throat> they supply the firewood, but you do have to buy a daily permit of fire here. We'll see how much of it is dry. Yeah, we'll see. Lorraine and I were picking through it, and we did find some, some dry stuff, so we'll see what happens. Brought our bicycles along so we can take some bike rides into town. And this is our campsite. We like to come here at least once a year. It's a beautiful campground to come to. Now the one advantage of all the rain is that everything is so lush and green. The park is looking just beautiful. It's all fine and dandy when you have full hookups. And it's really nice having the sewer hookup. But how do you make sewer go uphill? It's a little deceiving right now. It looks like it's going downhill, but it's not. And then right at the end, I've got my elbow in there. And so it makes it even higher. And her van is so low. It actually has to go uphill. So I have to hand bomb it, which is gross, but thank goodness there's a pipe. That's one thing I wish campgrounds would do a little differently, especially for vans like ours with the class B's, everything is so low down to the ground. It would be nice if they um, had a lower access to the sewer so it wasn't built up so high. Thank you for joining us for today's video. We encourage you to subscribe and leave a comment. We love hearing from you. And remember, as you make your plans to hold, hold your, your plans, plans loosely. loosely.